Hey guys, Lex Sales here with another Versus video. Now today is going to be a special video. We're going to be doing the pack of a barn house. And we're going to be doing three instead of two. So this, versus this, versus this. Triple Versus. So basically, um, yeah. These are the three one million, original one million and the flankers. So we're going to basically be discussing which one I think is the best out of the bunch. So um, yeah, let's get started. Now, the original one million and a half here came out in 2008. The Flanker, which is absolutely gold, came out in 2012. This is a pure perfume. And an Eau de Toilette came out just last year, 2013. This is 1 million intense. So, which one of these is the best? Well, let's get started. So, beginning with bottle design. Well, the original one, let's look at all the bottles here. As you can see, the original one with the gold and the black. We have the absolutely gold, which is the entire gold bar. And we have the intense, which is gold, but fades out. Personally, bottle design, they are all good, but I think the original one million gets the cake. If you look, I just love this combination. The black on the gold has a very, you know, Gianni Versace, you know, 80s Italian look. If you've ever seen the movie Scarface, it's something you'd see out of that. The black and the gold is just a very, very nice combination. I like the other two. I just think the black gives it a bit more. I think the rest being completely gold, they're great. They protect the fragrance, as does the black, but I just think that they... The black and the gold is just the best looking bottle of the bunch. They're all cool, but I know a lot of people think they're tacky. I can't like the design, you know, but for what it's worth, um, I think the original one million gets a point for bottle design. So, uh, yeah. Moving on to sprayer. Well, they're all the exact same sprayer, so they all got a point for that. So, every single one of these, this gets a point, this gets a point, and this gets a point for sprayer. Now, the important part, smell. As you know, I apply fragrances on my arm before I do my verses, so let's get started. The original one million. Has that sweet bubblegum vibe. Really, really strong. We have the absolutely gold next. This one's more mature. This is a more rose floral almost. Sort of spicy, leathery rose. Really good. The next one. Intense is almost like a more sour in a wee bit, one million. It's like yeah, spicy and then um, a little bit more mature, like a more sour version. Like if you mixed one million with Skittles a wee bit, let's get a bit. Imagine the taste of Skittles, that about a tenth, or a bit um, a fifth of that mixed in with the original one million. Kind of, sort of spicy, really nice. So I have to say though, it's a tough choice, but as far as quality goes, as far as nicest scent, I have to give it to absolutely gold. This in my opinion is just the best quality smell out of the lot of them. They're all good, I enjoy all of these, but this is the one I, I like the most. Really, really good. So for scent, it goes to one million absolutely gold. So moving on, let's go with discuss scent now. Lasting power. This one's a tough one. But again, I have to give it to absolutely gold. It's pure perfume, so this one literally lasts for days. Some people actually get more projection and longevity with the original and intense than they do with this one, despite the fact these are Eau de Toilette and this is pure perfume extra. So, on my skin anyway, lasting power goes to absolutely gold. This stuff is beast. I mean, I could put like one spray of this and I guarantee you tomorrow morning. See, like when I spray this in my arm, before the video, I will be smelling this in my arm tomorrow morning, or tomorrow afternoon even. Projection is still very good, I mean, this is 24 hours plus, for sure, and easily 12 hours of that it projects, I mean this never goes away. So for projection lasting power, this one gets a point. So absolutely gold gets another point. Now, let's move on to cost. Now this is where things, I've added cost in because I know with the Versace and the Chanel video, it was a bit unfair because the Chanel is good but the Versace is half the price, so I need to add in cost now, I think it's fairer. So cost, um, for best price, the original one million has to get it. It goes to the original one. Bear in mind, the price of these two, 100 mils of the pure perfume, is I think it's 70 pounds, and you can get 200 mils of the original for that same price. So you can have 100 mils of this or 200 mils of this for that price. So price has to go to the original one million. So let's look at the total. Bottle design, original one million. Sprayer, they all get a point. Smell, absolutely gold. Lasting power, absolutely gold, and price goes to one million. So overall the winner of the three is absolutely gold. This one is a great scent. It's the most mature, the highest quality. If you had to pick one of these, which is just this is sort of what Paco Ban can do when they really put their mind towards something, when they really want to make something good. This is a sort of this is this is good quality stuff. This is going back to the days of Paco Ban, Poor Rome, Paco Ban XS. This is what it says it's reminiscent 
of classic 80s and masculine scents. Really, really good. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching this versus video. I hope you found it helpful. Any questions you have, leave in the comments or send me a personal message. To find my videos easy, click on my channel, click on playlist, and click on Fragrance Versus, and it'll show you the list of them from the very latest to the very first. So yeah, you can also Google me, type in Lex Else, for by the CVs and the name of the fragrance you want, and it'll probably find it pretty easy. Um, all the song, all the sounds in this belong to Capcom's Street Fighter 2, and there'll also be a link to my blog in the description. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching. Keep on smelling fly.